हेलो एवरीवन आई होप एवरीबॉडी इज डूइंग गुड सो गाइस वी आर कम अप विद यू नो पावर बी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज सो दिस इज द पार्ट वन एंड इन दिस पार्ट वन वी आर कवरिंग वेरी वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चंस सो वी विल कवर ओनली फाइव क्वेश्चंस इन दिस पार्ट वन एंड वी विल कीप ऑन मेकिंग अदर पार्ट्स एज वेल वेयर वी विल इंक्रीज द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी एंड यू नो इंक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस बट इन दिस पार्ट वन वी हैव वेरी फ्यू क्वेश्चंस फॉर यू पीपल हु आर वेरी बिगिनर्स सो दीज आर दाइव क्वेश्चन फॉर पावर बी आई इंटरव्यू सो दीज फोर क्वेश्चन आर रिलेटेड टू पावर बी आई एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू यूर यू नो करियर अप स्केलिंग इन पावर बी आई डोमेन so we will try to answer each and every question so first question is what is power bi so guys uh, i'll try to answer it my way so as everybody knows power bi is a data visualization tool that is the very basic uh, you know um, uh, answer but how do i you know try to give answer of this question is so i i i start with power bi yes definitely is a you know data visualization tool where we can you know we have uh, the road map or there are multiple steps of doing the data visualization in power bi so the very first step is data import where you import the data from you know multiple sources so power bi enables you to upload the data from multiple sources then you have the option of data cleaning in third option you can do the relationship modeling part in power bi then you have uh, in next step you do the data analytics then in the very other next step you do the data visualization part those fancy graphs and the, those dashboard creations then you publish the power bi reports with your stakeholders and then you you know uh, do uh, share the reports with the your stakeholders and with your management so this is a very basic road map of power bi so the handwriting and the you know uh, this is very shabby but yeah i hope you are getting the idea out of it what i am trying to say so yes so whenever somebody asks you what is power bi just don't try to answer in the simple word that power bi is a data visualization tool yeah do the person who is asking they know that this is a data visualization tool but they want to know your you know understanding of the thing so yes there are few steps one is data import then data cleaning relationship modeling data analytics data visualization uh report publishing and then report sharing so these are the four, uh, how many 3 3 6 7 7 building blocks of power bi through which you you know create the fancy dashboards and share it with your management so this is uh question number 1 question number 2 what type of data can be uploaded in power bi so to answer this question i will take you to the power bi desktop so you can see over here so from get data we can upload uh, you know the data in uh, power bi so if you see over here power bi can upload data from excel workbook power bi data sets data flow data verse sql text csv web and there are many other options so there is one more option if you click on this more you will see enormous options over here which will be populating here so if you see if you want to upload from file databases power platforms azure online services so there are multiple you know services from where power bi can fetch the data and you can perform your data analytics and data visualization in that next question is what type okay so okay okay we have answered this question huh? okay uh, i hope i missed that but okay question is here what is folder option in get data so this is a very very important question guys and this is a very important step in you know doing the power bi thing so if i go here on get data thing if i click on more you will see one folder option here uh, it is just coming up okay so there is a folder option coming here so what is that folder option this is a very very important to answer this question i will take you to one of my folder uh where is that where is that okay this is folder option you can see here so if your data so okay let me open this first so okay so i have a data for bangalore location so this particular sheet contains data of 2015 2016 and 2017 for you know uh, year month and sales right if similarly you get the data from you know multiple locations like bangalore canada delhi gurgaon hyderabad noida usa 
and you are having separate separate files in that then the folder option comes into a picture and through folder options you can upload all the date uh, all the excel files which are in the uh, in, in your folder so you need not to update them separately and then combine them you can you know with the help of folder option you can upload them all you know all the files in a go so that is the folder option we have a separate video or we do teach in our you know uh, paid uh, courses that how folder option works and we we do cover each and every bit of power bi in our paid lectures okay so uh, coming to another question what is the difference between power query power bi desktop and power bi services this is a very very most asked questions in you know power bi interviews that they may the interviewer many times asked what is power query what is power bi desktop and what is power bi services to answer this question i'll first take you to this uh, power bi desktop so this is my power bi desktop you can see untitled i have not given it a name yet but if you give it a name then that name will come over here and this is the power bi desktop so in power bi desktop you you know upload data you do this you know um, data visualization part data you know uh, modeling part and other part you do in uh, you know the power bi desktop but okay just to give you an example let me upload one data set so that i can show you how power query actually works so i can go here i can go from here excel workbook and i can see an excel this is again a direct shortcut this is again a direct shortcut i can go from anywhere and update the data uh, upload the data so for example i am working on this adventure work data and uh, let me upload one sheet in this Mm, wait for a moment till the time it gets uploaded here so guys power bi is a very very you know uh, in demand tool please please learn it this is a very hot tool right okay so i can see here my all the data which was in fact internal sales table that is uh, you know uploaded over here if i want to do some data cleansing part over here then i go in this transform tab in my you know power bi desktop this opens up a new window for me so if you see my power bi desktop is another window and this power query editor is a different window so in power query editor we do clean the data right if i want to make some changes in my uh, table here then i'll make changes in power query editor so in power query editor we clean the data in power bi desktop we do those you know uh, dashboard creation so let's say if i want to create one uh, i'll do one bit for you let's say i put it uh, unit pricing okay so you see here so in power bi desktop we create the visualization okay and the third part was of the question so there are three three part what is power query we have answered that power query is used for data cleaning power bi desktop that is used for relationship modeling and uh, data visualization and what is power bi services so power bi services is nothing but let me take you to that thing mm, okay so power bi services is the web version or cloud uh, you know um, of power bi where you store your uh, you know publish your data publish your dashboards publish your reports and from here you share with your stakeholders so for an example i have built this you know uh, these many um, dashboards over here so if i click one of them so this gets published this is over the you know titanic practice data set i have created one visualization over here so now if i want to share it with my stakeholders so from here i can do share with it with people why power bi services is required so if i share this power I, I can share this power bi desktop as well so this will become like you know the way we used to share the excel then the uh, person who is receiving this they should also have that you know power bi software then only they can open this but if they do not have this then they can open the i i can you know publish the data in power bi services and i can you know uh, authorize them to share to view this dashboard so from the web version or from power bi services they can you know see the dashboard and uh, every details over here they need not to up download the power bi desktop thing so i hope this question is also clear to you so another thing another question why you want to upscale yourself in power bi or you know 
why do you want to upscale yourself in learn should not be coming over here okay so why do you want to upscale yourself in power bi so why power bi only guys so why uh, what i think is power bi is you know the as this is a data visualization tool so when any process is happening and you are presenting your uh, reports in power bi then you are presenting it to the management so this is a skill which brings you closer to the management then you get to the i get to know the what thought process or vision of the management and then you can mold yourself accordingly or you can mold yourself as a business person so uh, for executives for the staff people it is very good if they can you know learn this power bi thing then they can you know uh, bring themselves closer to the management then they can get to know how leaders think what is the thought process of leaders and everything because when they will be asking you questions they these questions will not be the plain simple questions as you have seen in my you know uh, this dashboard it is clearly written you can clearly see uh, this is a titanic data set so if you can see death and survived count so this is age right age group so 0 to 18 91 people died and 57 survived these are the simple questions but if i bring I, if i present it to the management then they may ask me some complex questions which business might be interested to see so if a staff person or executive who is building this dashboard they you know learn power bi then they can come closer to the management and they can understand their thought process so that was the uh, that is you know was my intention when you know i was learning this skill and this really helped me to grow my vision as a business leader or as a you know person who thinks about business so guys please do learn that and uh, i hope these questions were pretty simple but yeah they were very much uh, you know required to answer to you people so i hope you really liked this video if you liked this then please do subscribe the channel and uh, forward it to your you know to, to the needy peoples and if you want to you know uh, learn power bi from we people then uh, i'll i'll put down my uh, uh, I'll do one thing. I'll I'll paste a Google form in the link uh, in the link description. So from there you can fill that and we can get back to you. So till then, take care. Uh, keep learning. Keep upscaling. See you soon. Thank you so much.